Hi, my name is Ryan Bodine, Senior Vice President with NewGen Advisory, and today we're talking about cap rates. What is a cap rate? A cap rate, or capitalization rate, is a simple way of figuring out a return on investment. So for instance, in the hotel industry, say you were to consider buying a hotel that's generating $4 million in top line revenue, minus the expenses, and the bottom line is say, call it a million dollars. Well, if you were to buy this hotel for $10 million, you divide just the two. You divide the $1 million NOI by the $10 million purchase price. That would equal 10% or a 10% cap rate. So just like you're using a room revenue multiplier as a way to gauge a hotel's value, you do the same with the cap rate. So in you know, the room revenue multiplier perspective, if you were to buy a small motel in the middle of nowhere, maybe you want to buy a hotel at a two times or three times gross revenue multiplier. Maybe in a great location, you're willing to go crazy and buy it at a four or five times multiplier. It's the same thing with the cap rate. With the cap rate, if you're in the middle of nowhere, you may want to have a larger return. So you may want to buy something at an 11 or a 12 cap, but if you're in a great location in downtown uh, Beverly Hills, you may want to buy something at a six or a seven cap. That is how cap rates are used from a hotel investor's perspective to determine whether or not they are overpaying uh, for the property. So in the hotel industry, it is the riskiest asset class of all commercial uh, industries. You've got industrial, you have storage, you have multifamily, you have office space, and you have hotels. Well, with hotels, you're renting rooms on a daily basis where, say, with storage containers, you know, it's more of a fixed income. It's a safer investment. So if you were to compare um, a hotel uh, a hotel property and their cap rates, they're going to be selling at generally higher cap rates than say an industrial building or a storage uh, facility that has long-term leases in place and they're relatively safer investments. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please make sure to follow us on all of our social media channels to stay up to date with all the latest hotel industry news. If you have any questions, please comment below or feel free to contact me directly. My contact information is in the description. Thank you.